Welcome to Real Civil YouTube channel. In this video, uh, we are going to see different types of cracks and when they occur. So it will be helpful for us uh, to identify the type of crack so that we can provide the solution according to that or we can take the precaution while constructing in that area. So basically, if you see, uh, there are three types of cracks. Uh, we have divided first one is the structural crack and non-structural crack so structural cracks uh, where we have to give attention uh, because they are uh, harmful for our structure there are so many types of cracks uh, that are categorized under non-structural crack so uh, they are not much harmful to our structure so we can uh, ignore such types of cracks this is the first category. Uh, second category is active crack and dormant crack. So active crack are the cracks uh, which propagate with uh, respect to time and the dormant cracks are those cracks uh, which generally we can say stationary or they don't, uh, they are dead cracks. Once they have formed, uh, they are what we can say thickness of the crack and the width of the crack length of the crack won't be changed okay and third type of crack is isolated crack and pattern crack so isolated cracks means uh, there will be a single crack like this and the pattern crack will be somewhat like alkali aggregate reaction or crazing means there will be a, a pattern of cracks okay so let's see some types of crack based on when they occur so first is before hardening and second one is after hardening so before hardening of the concrete uh, we have divided them into three types basically first one is the early movement so the cracks which cause because of early movement of say first is the formwork okay suppose formwork moves because of that uh, the crack may occur and they these cracks are very early in the concrete as soon as we have uh, casted or constructed the concrete second one is the subgrade movement means suppose there is one uh, we can say a subgrade is there and before uh, or above that subgrade we are pouring our concrete okay and this subgrade moves uh, then maybe there are cracks in the concrete next is late join join jointing okay so suppose we have placed the one batch of the concrete okay and this batch or this concrete get hardened and then our second batch come and that we pour on the hardened concrete okay then there may be a crack that crack may be called as late joining jointing okay or maybe uh, at the joints can be considered as a late jointing cracks okay next is a plastic cracks so plastic cracks are divided into shrinkage and settlement so shrinkage is simply nothing but uh, decrease in volume mostly okay and this decrease in volume is because of uh, we can say uh, plastic shrinkage cracks where water may get evaporated or it may get absorbed by the subgrade so that type of uh, cracks are called as shrinkage cracks plastic shrinkage cracks that may occur in the when you place the con concrete in early stages of the concrete or we can say before hardening and there are some settlement cracks are there okay when the water gets settled or heavier particles get settled at that time uh, there may be cracks or uh, settlement of the subgrade 
during the initial stages of the concrete that is plastic stage plastic stage simply means when the concrete is uh, we can say concrete is wet that's why we have called it as a before hardening okay next is after hardening cracks are categorized into physical causes thermal causes chemical causes and structural causes so in physical causes uh, first one is alkali aggregate reaction where pattern type of cracks will be there so in alkali aggregate reaction one gel gets formed uh, due to the reaction between alkalis and silica and because of that there are cracks then second one is the drying shrinkage when the water in the concrete pours uh, because of uh, that the cracks that occurs called as drying shrinkage third one is restrained shrinkage and fourth one is freeze and thaw where water in the cracks or in the pores get freeze and then melt and in that action there is a change in volume of the water means from water to ice there is a change in volume of 9% and because of that there may be cracks called as freeze and thaw cracks in thermal there are seasonal temperature changes and temperature gradients are there means when temperature is more the concrete expands when temperature is less it contracts and because of that there are some cracks these cracks are called as thermal cracks next is type of chemical cracks in chemical cracks first one is the sulfate attack mostly the sulfate is present in the soil and it will attack the concrete and formation of the cracks will be there corrosion is one of the major region where cracks may come okay then again carbonation where carbon dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide and there will be a carbonation and because of that there will be some cracks then acid attack where mostly the strong acids like h2so4 and hcl may attack the concrete and there will be some cracks these cracks are called as acid attack cracks then finally overloading some structural cracks structural cracks may be because of overloading means suppose a house is constructed for residential purpose and now it has been used for commercial purpose so there will be excess load then cracks may occur because of earthquake cracks may occur due to excessive movement okay similarly improper design if design is not proper at that time also there will be cracks there will be some putty cracks or sometimes the crack may be because of repetitive loading also or cyclic loading and finally the creep cracks these are the inherent property of the concrete and the creep is nothing but when the sustained the loading is there for very long period of time then the cracks that forms are called as creep and these are the structural cracks so these are the different causes behind the cracks that we have divided into before hardening and after hardening so before hardening are early movement plastic early freezing and in after hardening means once the concrete gets set it is physical causes maybe thermal causes maybe chemical causes and maybe structural causes okay so thank you for the session please like share subscribe the channel mm -hmm.